My name is Michael Jantz. I'm a pulmonologist uh, with a special focus on interventional pulmonology. And I also have a, a special focus on thoracic oncology and lung cancer. I was doing robotic bronchoscopy for about a year and a half before the GEOEC 3D became available and now it's routinely incorporated into my robotic bronchoscopy practice. And of course we also use the two-dimensional capabilities for our standard bronchoscopies and plural procedures. I was interested in the GEOEC 3D because the image quality I perceive to be better. It is more CT-like, in my opinion. The support from GE in terms of education, system setup, training the personnel needed to, to run the equipment uh, has been very wonderful. And in terms of its portability being mobile, it certainly allows the person to, to use it in the bronchoscopy suite or the OR or back and forth between those two places. I use it routinely for all my robotic bronchoscopy cases. The system does allow you to, to window up or down to, to improve the visibility of the lesion. And on the system, on the three different axial planes, it'll actually provide you some cardinal coordinates. Sometimes with larger lesions, I've been sort of kind of surprised that my radio ultrasound signal looked good and so I would be confident in my biopsy, but yet I would, on the spin, I would find that my needle actually would just be at the periphery of the lesion. Another scenario is a larger lesion that actually was cavitary and so would have a, a solid component more eccentrically to one side or the other. I'm able to specifically target the more solid area of the lesion to improve diagnostic accuracy. I certainly have found in my practice that there are some very small lesions, for example, some eight to 10 millimeter nodules way out at the periphery. Prior to the OEC 3D, I'd be like, I just don't know that I'm really gonna be able to get that. With the OEC 3D, I've really been quite successful and, and I'm quite willing to, to try to do those ch very challenging nodules on a routine basis. There are also some patients that have a, a negative biopsy that don't show cancer. The lesion is still concerning, but having visualized my biopsy instruments directly within the, the nodule with OEC 3D, I have also greater confidence that it's a true negative biopsy result in, in the patient and I can be more comfortable resuming our surveillance strategy after the procedure. I would strongly encourage people to, to consider the use of, of OEC 3D technology uh, in, in their workflow uh, with robotic bronchoscopy. I have found that it actually reduces time of procedure, so it's become more efficient as opposed to adding something else technology-wise that, that makes your life less efficient. There are some cases, of course, that you know I would be just fine with my standard ultrasound, but there have been many cases where, again, I would not have found the lesion or, or would be adjacent to, but not within the lesion. And, and so with the use of the OEC 3D, the diagnostic yield is substantially improved. And I would suggest to people that they will have even greater success with their robotic bronchoscopy platform by incorporating the OEC 3D.